是小妖怪，逍遥又自在。Naja is currently the most popular cartoon character in China. Naja's image is beloved by Chinese fans, with internet users and even celebrities vying to use its image in the short videos they posted on social media. Naja's popularity can be traced back to the animation movie Naja, which was released in the Chinese mainland on July 26. The film is based on a Chinese fantasy novel called Investiture of the Gods. Which tells the story of a magical boy who came into the world to cause trouble. When disaster strikes, however, Naja sacrifices himself to save people. The film's message is one of breaking stereotypes and reversing your fate. On the 27th day of the film's release, it raked in 4.242 billion yuan, 593.3 million U.S. dollars, in the Chinese mainland alone. Surpassing the 4.238 billion yuan, 592.7 million U.S. dollars reached by Avengers: Endgame, making it the third highest-grossing hit of all time at the box office in the Chinese mainland. It was also announced that the film would be released in North America on September 6. Some people say that Naja shows China's animation films are making a comeback that is long overdue. Historically. Chinese animation had its moment in the sun. Chinese animation used distinctively Chinese art forms such as paper cutting, shadow puppetry, and ink wash painting. Since the 1950s, a number of classic works such as Feelings of Mountains and Waters and The Monkey King have had an impact on animation around the world. In the 1990s, with the transformation of China's economy and the commercialization of the animation industry, domestic animation struggled to compete with American and Japanese animated films and TV series shown in the Chinese mainland. In 2015, however, Chinese animation had a turning point. Monkey King: Hero is Back. The film, which is about the self-salvation of the monkey god Sun Wukong, grossed almost 1 billion yuan. 140 million U.S. dollars. Domestic animation became mainstream in the Chinese mainland. How did Chinese animation achieve its rebirth? For a long time, there has been a deeply rooted idea that domestic animation is for children. The largest animation consumer group in the domestic market is children under the age of 13. In countries such as the United States and Japan, however. Animation is made for people of all ages. From the release of Monkey King: Hero Is Back to the release of Naja, the main audience has been 21 to 30 year olds, in line with domestic animation's gradual move to content meant for a more mature audience. With all this going on, network giants like Tencent, Alibaba, and ITE began to pay more attention to the animation market. Tencent Video released 47 animation projects in 2019. In addition to the animation videos on its website and promoting a pay-to-watch model, Tencent has also been developing short videos, comics, novels, and exhibitions to create an entertainment matrix based around animation. The injection of capital has directly boosted domestic animation. Last but not least. Chinese culture has provided rich inspiration for animation, and a distinctive Chinese style has become a source of creativity for domestic animations in recent years. A new generation of Chinese animators has actively been exploring animation technology. The return of animation talents who studied abroad and cooperation between Chinese and foreign production companies have also helped to continuously improve the quality of domestically produced animated films. No matter whether it's Sun Wukong or Naja, ancient Chinese mythology is proving popular in the box office. The American-produced film Kung Fu Panda was a huge hit, both in China and the rest of the world. Can Chinese animation, with its distinct Chinese style, succeed in the same way?